Okay guys, I've got a quick unboxing for you today, a few things we're going to look at. First of all we're going to look at this main box. This is the main video, uh, I'm going to open that in shortly. But first I want to talk about a few things which just came in the post. I've got one of these brackets, which is a hold, it's a transmitter bracket. I'm going to do a video setting this up, fitting it to one of my transmitters, one of my radios. Uh, my DX6i. So I'm going to attach this to there. Let's do hold this FPV screen, which is uh, same make, eShine. Yeah. Fits on somewhere like that or somewhere like that. I'm not entirely sure, but that's uh, what I'm, that's what that practice for. I'll do another video of that later on. So keep tune, uh, tuned for that, guys. Keep a lookout for it. Uh, and see how good carbon fibre. Shouldn't be too difficult to set up. Okay, I've also got some different props I'm going to try out for my 250 racer. Uh, I've got some bullnose props coming, so I'm going to try them. Uh, I should do a video on how I think these ones are, and I'll do links later on. Uh, and I've also got some try ones and maybe some quad uh, blades, don't really know yet, but we'll come back to that later on. Okay, I've also got uh, this thing, which is a new motor that sent me out. When I bought this quad from banggood.com, it had a faulty uh, clockwise motor. It used to heat up, well it does heat up, after about five minutes it gets really hot and it starts to make a horrible noise. So banggood.com has kindly sent me a replacement out, very quick, good service, and I'm going to uh, do a video of putting that in place. Also when I bought this the FPV transmitter was faulty and it was working and it wasn't working and there was lines coming across the screen uh, and what else did it do? The USD wasn't working properly. So again bang good. Fair play to them they sent me out. No messing about just sent me a new FPV, FPV transmitter out. And I'm expecting to get that any day now, and I'll do a video all together for that one later on. So keep a, keep a check out for that, guys. And I'll also do a same video of what alterations I've done, because the FPV originally is supposed to go here, and I've moved it back, uh, where I can put a bigger battery on the on the top. Anyway, keep an eye out for that. And that leads us on to the main unboxing. I've got these two boxes from Hobby King. Uh, I'm going to cut the video now. I'll open everything out, lay it all out, and then we'll, we'll have a look. And then I'll, I'll do another video, possibly assembling uh, this item, and then a flight video. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a glider. And this is what we're going to uh, want to look at. Yeah. I've got it from... Uh, Hobby King. Wingspan is 1120mm, uh, length is 830mm, the flying weight is between 550 and uh, 570 grams. Yeah. This is a cloud fly uh, airplane. So, before then, there's another box that came in with it. This one. And some of the things you're going to need, because I bought this. You can get the ready to fly version. Uh, I decided to buy it just the plane on its own and then buy all the other bits separate. So I've got myself an ESC controller. Uh, this one is a Rotostar 30 amp. I think it's got a 4 amp back in it. But I've got the S back. Not 100% sure whether I should have got a, just a normal back or. I bought the S back anyway. Switching back. Uh, you can see that. So that's you need at least three amps recommended, I think. But this is a four amp back, 30 amp speed controller. Uh, let's have a look what's in here if I can find my knife. Yeah, that's gone too. Okay, my knife's gone. There it is. Just open this. This should be the motor. Should be. There you go. 
So this is the motor. Uh, don't ask me what spec it is because I don't know yet. But this is the this is the motor what comes with it. And I'll find out and put some uh, some links up on the screen. Yeah. When you get it, just check all your magnets are okay. Nothing's loose. I would suggest after each flight, you check your magnets to make sure you haven't made your last and you can glue them back in place. So I've got that ESC, and I bought myself a couple of these collets, three millimeter collets. Uh, we should just open one quick. Have a quick look. Remember, this is not a build video, it's just an unboxing. And I think I paid off, off uh, the Hobby King website oof, one pound something, not a lot of money, can't remember. Well, it looks like it goes in that way, it screws onto there, and obviously the washer goes on first. That goes on, and as you tighten the collet up, it should just nip onto the nip the shaft. So as that pushes, you can see, you can see that as that pushes forward, it just tightens up onto there, uh, and you just put a screwdriver through or something out of there. It's a lot better than using this thing, which is for elastic bands. So that's that, and I've got a spare one in case I lose part. So that's good. And then I've got, ordered myself some of these uh, 10 gram servos. These are digital ones. Comes with a servo arms. Uh, I've used these one before. These ones are £2.50 I think each. Uh, didn't know which one to get but I was recommended not to get the, the version which has its own servos because they're not as good. So there's four of those. Yeah, motor. Uh, what else is it? And the ESC. Cool. I will be putting FPV on it later on. But first, I need to learn how to fly it. <laughs> so, got myself a, a PC flight simulator coming. I mess about with flight simulator for a while till I get the hang of it, and I'll take it for a main flight. So let's open it up. Have a look inside. Uh, this is the ANX, sorry, I didn't mention that before, it's a foam model, EPO foam, it says new style, EPO, don't know what that means. Uh, I am going to paint this, I'm going to uh, paint it grey, and I want it to be FPV, it's the only reason I'm buying it. The handle on that, there we go, there we go, cool. The road, shift that over there, and some instructions. Let's have a quick look at it. Basic instructions, it looks like. Check all your parts, make sure you're not missing anything. Some glue, a couple of props, push rods, uh, some extension cables, and some rubber o rings for the prop. Uh, see the motor there, but this one doesn't come with a motor, and some uh, some horns for the uh, flight surfaces. Here it tells you things how to set the motor up, if I, which I'll need that. Uh, two degrees pitch up on the motor. Yeah, it's not pretty, but I think um, there's a nice little breakdown. What you need, yeah. So that's that. And then we've got, looks like some wings, so we'll just take this rod out. Looks like a carbon rod. So we'll just release this. Okay. Everything is taped up well, so it's been packaged really nice. The, bo the box, there's no damage at all. Uh, so it wasn't even a dent in it, which I found quite amazing. Just uh, cutting this out. I'll pick the tip off later on. So that's the wing uh, spar, which is 
It's either fiberglass or carbon, I don't really know fiberglass it looks like there. Don't know, it could be carbon, so there's that. Let's put that there. And then we've got vertical stabilizer, horizontal stabilizer, fins. Just uh, take this out. I can go that without. Uh, it's well packaged. Bit too, bit too much shallow tape. But there you go. Just rip it open. Oh, that's fair. Let's just rip it open. Again, I've uh, read some good reviews of this plane. Uh, it says new foam. Just looks like foam to me. It's regular foam. The finish is really nice. It's really flat. Uh, these decals, which are probably heated on, I might take off because I'm going to paint it grey. One thing to note is uh, you need to exercise these uh, rudders or any, any uh, control surface. Just waggle it a few times. Make sure that it is, it's not stiff here or here. Seems fine. So there's that. Okay. Open. I know this is a boring video for you, but this is uh, as quick as I can. Again, the next video I'll do, I'll uh, I will start to do a series because it's going to take me a while to put this together because um, I haven't got much time on my hands. I'm in between work, and so I'll do my best. That's a big line. There you go. So there's that. Going really stiff. A lot of people say they don't need to. Don't bend it any more than 80 or 90 degrees. Just work it slowly. Uh, and I, I'm going to actually put some proper hinges on. Uh, I've got loads in my in my uh, bag, so I'm gonna put some proper hinges on and possibly cut that so it's better for the servos. What else have we got in there? A bag for our goodies, a couple of props, some cables, and some uh, some parts for some push rods and things. So now. Uses onto this. Just make sure you don't cut too into the model. And I'll just cut away from yourself. Okay, it's one wing. Probably a pair of scissors will be better, but I'm too lazy to do that. So there's one of the wings. Clouds float a jet. Uh, the next float, what people, most people just call it. Uh, servos, see if they're fit. This bar comes out. Glue it in. I'm just going to glue, glue it from here to there, and leave this pit just with sellotape. I'm going to glue the wing in and the spar in. Uh, so there's one wing, and obviously you know what the other wing is, so I won't waste your time showing you the other wing. Uh, unless it's unless I can just rip it up quick. There's the wing. Check for any damage, which there isn't. It looks fine. Quality is really smooth, so I really like uh, the finish. Again, these are really stiff, so work it a little bit. Yeah. And I'll see if the servos fit. Probably hot glue these in at some point. So there's the second wing. Out the wing. And then we've got smoke the box out of the road, nothing else in the box. Uh, and then we've got the fuselage. Just taking care not to damage it. Sell a tape. Yeah, 
There we go. Quite nice. Quite impressed with the quality to be honest. So as you push rods, which are in a plastic sleeve, which is uh, pretty good. That, there's the motor mount, as you can see. So the motor just Take you take that off. Just don't know what the hell that's for. What's that for? It's just a spacer. Don't I don't understand what that's for. It must. Oh, oh yeah yeah yeah. Looks like you take that off. No no. It looks like that just mounts straight to there, but I don't understand what that... I'll have to have a look later on, I'll get back to that one. Just like a replacement, so I wonder whether in the factory they just... That's a spare, so I don't need that. So the motor just goes on, free the way through, done. Canopy just should be on, on a magnet. Little clip goes over the front. Actually, the magnet seems really strong, but... I recommend just putting an elastic band on or something. And so that's that. Plenty of space inside. Well, I wouldn't say plenty of space, but enough to do whatever you need. Uh, servos. Just keep it an eye out for... See, it looks like one of the nuts fell off. Of that push rod. So I've lost a nut, so that nut could be somewhere. So I have to go and have a look for that, that nut. You see how the second one's got a little nut on it, and that one's missing. It might be missing, it could be stuck somewhere. I'll have a little look for that. Otherwise I'll have to find one, a replacement. Uh, servos, battery slides into there. Uh, receiver goes on there. And I need somewhere to mount my FPV. Probably transmit on the back and camera cut through the hatch. So I probably have the camera through here. So you just see a bit of the front. Uh, yeah, it should. Uh, okay, so you see how it goes together. I'm not going to glue anything together until I try it. So. You can see how that goes. Good guys, that's probably the end of the video now. I can't really do much more. Uh, so just a quick unboxing. Just keep a watch out for further videos uh, when I'm assembling it. And I'm going to paint it first. Well, I don't know, I might glue it in there. Yeah, I'll probably glue it and then paint it. Paint it there last. Uh, probably peel all these off. The paint won't stick to it. I'm, the paint I'm going to use is just. Uh, Emulsion, just grey house emulsion. Rough it up a little bit, just a sandpaper, and uh, I want it to be grey. Want that look. So there are the vents for cooling. And then you've got it also a hole in the back, so I can expel uh, the ESC gets warm. But because I bought a bigger ESC than I need, I should have no problem handling 18 amps. It's a 30 amp controller. Hey guys, thanks for watching uh, and please like or subscribe. Thanks a lot guys.